Peter Francho visited Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services to recognize them for all the important services they provide to the county citizens. Queen Anne's County is one of my favorite counties. Uh, everyone here is tight with the dollar, but they emphasize quality and good old-fashioned Maryland values. So I wanted to particularly thank the Department of Emergency Services. Uh, Scott, you have a great program. Everybody, uh, you know, had a team effort uh, in the events of July. Uh, I happened to uh, tour with Sheriff Hoffman and, uh, and Director Haas. Uh, the damage that was done and I heard nothing but praise from members of the community about how everybody responded. Nobody, you know, tried to one-up anybody else. Everybody was just there to do their assigned tasks. And Scott, I would like to present to you and to the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services in the state of Maryland in recognition of your unwavering commitment to providing unparalleled service to the citizens of Queen Anne's County, special appreciation for your heroic efforts in assisting residents and businesses during and after the EFT-2 tornado that touched down on Ken Island in July 2017, and with heartfelt gratitude for your invaluable contributions to the surrounding communities, many thanks and best wishes for continued success and growth in the years ahead. Presented this 11th of September. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Really Just so you know, on our yeah. side, Mr. Yes. Ribbon here has been the one who spearheaded most of the efforts through the community and has done an excellent job doing so. Well, come on so, up here. I'm going to give you one of my much coveted Comptroller medallions. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you. Code of Marylanders to make a difference, first responders and veterans, but most of all, just folks that uh, really add value and uh, get the job done. And as I mentioned, it's a very tight fiscal environment, as it should be, because the taxpayers are always under duress. Uh, but Queen Anne's County is doggone it, gets the job done, and uh, still provides the customer service despite the uh, budget times. So Scott, go ahead. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. No, not at all. But uh, I wanted to also express our appreciation for you coming out to Ground Zero and uh, interacting with the community. I know it meant a lot to the community to see you out there. You know, How's that a lot gentleman to whose house was destroyed? I hope he's okay. I think he's a veteran. Yes. I hope he's okay. Um, yep. Dave's got the full scoop on him, but he is okay. Uh, he was our only transport out of the whole incident. And he was released the same day. So, But since you gave Dave a challenge point, we wanted to make sure that you got one of oh, ours. Oh, boy. Great. So, I have a collection. So this is an official Department of Emergency Service Thank you. that we want you to have. Oh, I'm honored to have that. Thank you. It's beautiful also. Thank you very much, Scott. Yes. Would you uh, say a word about what the secret recipe is for teamwork? <laughs> well, I think over the years, uh, since Scott and I have come on board in emergency management, he is the director, I mean, with emergency management, um, we, we went on a mission of training uh, with all of our partners law enforcement, fire, EMS, and emergency services as a whole. And over the last few years, we've exercised various types of scenarios, including an active assailant in the government building or um, uh, also evacuations. And I think because we've always communicated well to begin with, we've had a great partnership regardless of what the patch says. Uh, it's, it's been a great family. We get great support from our local government leaders. Uh, you know, we tell them what we need, not what we want, but what we need, and we make sure that we're fiscally uh, responsible with those monies and we're trusted with that. And we have built an agency that includes everybody. Um, and I think that was a success for the tornado response. Uh, the, the true hero in this whole whole event was Delmarva Power, how quickly they got the, the power back up. Uh, they originally, the estimates they gave us were two to three days or more to get the power restored, and they did it within 24 hours. It was amazing, and it was amazing the amount of crews they had on site. Thank you all very much. Great ceremony.